What's up, DTF? This is you know who it is. It's your boy, D Drop Top Foo, uh, here with the Blue Mamba. And like I promised, today we got another video for y'all for the channel. Uh, this is not really a modification, you know, I didn't get a bed liner like I said, but um, getting ready to throw this mat back here. But first we got to get the mamba cleaned up and I'm going to take it to an uh, automated car wash. I normally don't because, you know, the brushes and everything, sometimes it can hurt your paint. But my dog chewed up my hose and I don't feel like going out. I'm going to have to buy a new hose at some point. But yeah, I'm going to be lazy today and I'm going to go ahead and risk taking it to the car wash. So... Y'all pray for me that nothing happens to this beautiful paint job on the mamba and everything. You know, I haven't, normally when I got a convertible, I like to take it through something with high pressure water or something to kind of see if it'll leak or something anyway, which I'm pretty sure this won't. But um, I guess that's another thing. It'll be a nice test for the top and everything also. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take it through the car wash and get it ready to put the little additions that I'm adding today. So I got the mat and something else that y'all see here shortly all right at the car wash look like everybody named mama had the same idea today to come to the car wash anyway let's see how this goes even before coronavirus why when you come to this thing right here you know you can pay yourself why you got a guy standing up here to put the card in for you or um, I don't know you can't pay them so what's the purpose of the guy standing here like that guy what's the purpose of that guy you know just touch my card and I ain't got no mask on and all that shit anyway that's what it is I got some sanitizer <laughs> all right so we're gonna hope and pray that these brushes don't fuck us up. Like I was saying, um, yeah, this car, this truck turns heads wherever I go. So you know, if you want the attention factor, whatever, people see the Gladiator is like they've never seen anything like it. So they taking it through here. Of course, the top and everything. You know, no leaks so far. Of course, nothing coming down. But another thing I wanted to see was how my decals, the blue mumble holds up on there you know to this little bit of pressure and everything this is my first time having it washed or washing it since I got those put on there so that's going to be a nice tip through the car wash so now it's time to see how the mumble would stood to the, the brushes and all that kind of stuff all with it no scratches in there I just killed the car wash. I mean, I wasn't trying to. You know, we just came to get cleaned up real quick, but <laughs> I mean, I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't trying to be cocky. People were stopping washing their cars. I mean, vacuuming out their cars. So I look at my shit and the dude that um, the worker came over saying, you know, cup in the rim, somebody you killed the game with those and all that stuff. He's like, I like the whole package, but man, them rims, which is true, the, the rims are really set it off so yeah like i said you gotta be happy with the vehicle you're in when you get something you just have to keep looking at it and it gets attention it's always worth everything home now the mamba is all cleaned up as you can see or you can't see there were no scratches so we live through going to the car wash you know what i'm saying and like i said Mamba killed the car wash. People just kept walking up to me. I could barely dry it and clean the rims up. And I somebody to come and say something. So, back to what we're doing right now. The focus of this video. I'm about to go ahead and put this in the bed. I cleaned the bed up. As you can see, the damn cage, I got scratches right here. So, time to go and cover that shit up. Anyway. And here is the liner. I'm about to take this out unfolded and everything so it won't be curling up in the back of the bed so yeah when i come back y'all see we'll put it in this long video we're gonna go ahead and unbox this hopefully it won't cut it pretty sure it said don't use a knife but 
Who better to do tonight than the unboxing? No, I do. Some shit. I appreciate that. Well, it looks like it won't puff up much or whatever. I'm going to put this in, so yeah. Got to make sure. Okay, so it actually is rolled this way, and it's gonna go straight like that. All right. Let y'all see it once I put it in. We got it in, and I'm glad I didn't let y'all see me initially putting it in because I had the damn thing upside down. As you can see, they actually made it where you got these things that go right down into the ridge of the bed and everything. They tried to line everything up real good. Hopefully when it settles, so I won't have to worry about it sitting up like this. But you see this little corner here actually kind of goes in there. And this is Smart Liner Bed Mat. Specifically designed for the Jeep Gladiator. Okay, I see that again needs to be pulled up a little more. And yeah, this is a great alternative to a spray in, in my opinion. So, yeah. I think it works. Now all I need is to get my Tiger Tunnel cover on the top here and we'll be ready to go. Alright, so we got one more little small add-on. Uh-oh, that's the issue. Let's make sure, uh, see, I might need to pull that up some more so that the tailgate are closed. So I got it on there, tailgate's closed, fits good. So last but not least, last thing we're gonna add on today, cause you know, even though I got the sports S package, you know, probably got max toe and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's how you unpackage something. Uh, I probably won't be towing too often. If I do, it'll be when I'm getting ready to move and move some things around or whatever. So, you know you got your tow hitch cover down there, and I'm not really going to be using much. So, I got something to plug it up. And here you go. This is what's going to go on there. If you've seen my last video, you know that I'm an advocate for Second Amendment rights and everything. If you haven't seen my last video, go check that out for Juneteenth and everything. Um, talking about people exercising their second amendment right to bear arms and of course don't hurt that that's a gladiator symbol for the gladiator and if you haven't ever heard of i can't say it but those uh greek words right there uh basically mean um to protect never mind i'll have to i'll put it in the description what it means because i don't want to fuck it up but uh it's a saying that people use for the second amendment and everything so about to put this on and let y'all see what it look like all right and of course that fit perfectly people may not really be able to see it or pay any attention but if they do then cool if not it is what it is but i know it's there so yeah there we go thank y'all for viewing uh please like and subscribe to the channel if you like it or whatever you know it is what it is and share it, you know what I'm saying? Get some more traffic to this channel. All right, y'all take it easy.